Are you ready to learn how to make new look really, really old and crusty? We could do even some rusty. That just came to mind because it rhymes with crusty. I didn't even have that prepared. I have some mason jars because I answered an ad on Facebook for 60 mason jars and turns out that's several boxes of mason jars. We have this one. I've got this one. And then I have this one. You can do this with any surface, wood, porcelain, plastic, wicker, but on the slick surfaces, this is one, this is two coats of slick stick. So you'll put your first coat on, you're gonna let it sit two to three hours, then you're gonna put a second coat on and you're going to wait overnight. And that is going to let the paint catch on to this so that you will not be able to scratch it off. If you just wanna go for the regular, look, this one is still wet. This is the Honky Tonk Red. So this is rusty, well not rusty, it's crusty, okay? Does that not look like it came out of the backyard? Like it had some, some trauma done to it. It's been out there for a long time. That is sea spray. So I've got my little clear cup because I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing here. And I've likened it to when you're mixing water with it, if you've ever made sugar cookies and you're making your icing with powdered sugar, you mix water in it. And sometimes you get too much water and you get it really, really, thanks Serena. Uh, you get it really watery and then you go to add more of the sugar and it gets a little thicker. So I like to use a spray bottle to kind of control what I'm doing a little bit more because I get a little bit heavy handed. Uh, I have uh, compared myself to a bull in a china closet with a few things. So I like to put a little bit in and then stir it. And I know I need more water because it's still re really powdery. And that's about right. I want it to be really, really thick so that it stays lumpy and crusty on the side of this. So I'm just using my finger here. I'm gonna grab some and just start to apply it and tap. When I tap it, it wants to stick to my finger so it's forming the points. See how it's a little bit sticky? This was done with Dixie Bell's mud. It's still a little bit smooth to me. Yeah, I, I knocked down the tips with a sanding sponge. So it's really, I mean, it looks older. It doesn't look like glass. I mean, this is mud. It comes in, it comes in brown, white, and black. The uh, finger method, method works great. Um, one thing that I will tell you, you do not want to do is when you're getting your mud, don't clean your finger off back in the jar because it dries. You can see where I've done that just by habit. Don't clean your utensil or your, your whatever back off into the jar. Use something, I've got an apron right here that I'll wipe it on when I'm finished. And that way it stays fresh. You can also keep this in your refrigerator. It keeps it better longer. So again, with the tapping method. Sea spray, mud. It's basically the same kind of look. Sea spray is a little bit chunkier, but they are both gonna give you the same, the old, the old and just pulled it out of the backyard look. If you sanded this down, it would look like this. Okay, that's the same thing. All right, here I have Silk in Wharf. Honestly, I've never used the mud like this. We also used it to plug where the doorknob had hit the wall. We've used it for nail holes. Um, my son backed into the gate and put a dent on my BMW. So we, I'm just kidding, we didn't put it on that. <laughs> It won't work for, for that. <laughs> if it would though, we'd be so rich. And it's gonna go on so smooth. So check that out. Very smooth. Let's see, what was your question? Could you fix the gate with it? 
If I could, girl, I could show you that gate. It is a U now, instead of, it's like this. Here's our mud already dry, honky tonk red. And I'm just going right over. I'm going, going on a little thick because I'm about to spray it with water. But I don't want it too even, right? So I w I'm not gonna go straight across. I'm just gonna tap it here and there. And then I'm gonna let it get a little bit tacky before I spray it. Because if I spray it right now, it's gonna get all droopy and it'll run all the way down the jar. I'd rather it run just to like right here. It's a trick. I mean, it's, it's a trick. That's just tapped on top of that mud. And I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then we're gonna come back and spray it. You don't want to, I thought you were a pillar of patience. Well, what gave you that idea? Another fun thing that you can do with these jars, is open up your best dang wax. This one is great. And I'm gonna tap it in there. See, you don't need a whole, whole lot. Just, just a little tappy tap. There's no clear coat on this. This is chalk mineral paint, so it's going, it's very porous. It's gonna suck up this wax. And I'm just gonna kind of put it all over the jar. It's all on the jar. See it kind of coating up and stuff? I always use a lint-free cloth and you're just gonna wipe it back. See how it makes it look even rustier? Or rust, I keep saying rusty. I want it to be rusty. Erin, I want it to be rusty now. All right, so our red is dry here. Trick is, if you want to wash, I'm going to go ahead and spray my surface. And then I'm going to dab my coffee bean. All kinds of messy around it, all right? That actually looks cool just by itself. And I'm gonna immediately go back. This could get messy. Let's do this. See it start to run. It's kind of a, you just kind of have to sit and watch sometimes. You can help it along with your finger if you don't think it's moving to as fast as you want it to. There we go. And if you don't want it to run that far, which I really didn't, just touch it up with your rag. Mud, the sea spray. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I kind of like the way when, my, when I drag it down with my finger. What do y'all think about that? Um, peace out guys. Thanks for watching. See you next Thursday. Bye.